Hey guys, this is Kristen with HK Wax Center. What's the difference between soft wax versus hard wax? Um, I get this question all the time, every week, so I thought I'd make a video for it. Um, now real quick, if you have any additional questions, anything I don't answer or just um, a question that uh, you thought of that you would like to know, feel free to comment down below. I always go through those and answer those. Um, you can like, subscribe. Um, also, I'm on Instagram and Facebook, which if you are on Facebook, don't forget to check out Wax Club. It's for professionals only, so estheticians, cosmetologists, and if you're currently in school, you are all welcome. Um, so, real quick. Um, soft wax versus hard wax. Now, when I was in aesthetic school, they first taught us how to use soft wax. Um, then once we graduated from the first side of school, more like the learning, and we moved over to the um, more side where you're performing services, they showed us how to use hard wax, and I completely fell in love. I have extremely sensitive skin, so me and soft wax don't mix, don't work well together. Um, we don't like each other, but I love hard wax. Absolutely love hard wax. And so I wanna um, show you guys the difference. So I'm not recommending soft wax. This is really just for if you want to know what the difference is, if you aren't sure, um, and you can make the decision on what is best for you. So first, um, I will go over soft wax. Soft wax is applied extremely thin. It needs to be applied very thin, um, so thin, because if you apply it even a little too thick, it's gonna be a lot harder to get off. Um, you have to use a strip like this in order to actually remove it. So it's very sticky. If you um, think of like a glue, where it's actually gluing itself to your skin and then you're ripping it off with paper. <laughs> so you can't remove it on its own, it has to be removed with paper. Um, a muslin strip like this and you'll be good have one of these around otherwise you will be in big trouble um, you can only go over an area one time uh, now soft wax is adhered directly to the skin so when it's applied it's sticking to your skin and then you remove it with the strip and it's just pulling the hair out with it which is completely different to hard wax so because of that because it's sticking directly to your skin you cannot go over it more than once it is uh it will lift the skin which when i say lift i mean pull the skin off you don't want that obviously multiple layers of skin but you don't want to lift the skin it's going to cause a lot of discomfort for your client um they're not going to be happy you're going to be embarrassed and ugh, everything's going to be negative so only go over an area one time and you um at least won't lift their skin you'll be okay um now with hard wax Hard wax is completely different. Um, I would think of more of like candle wax where um, when it's not sticky, but technically it will flow around the hairs and when it cools, it suction cups itself around those hairs. So whenever you pull the strip off, it's just pulling those hairs out with it. So it, it's not sticky at all, which is kind of where you think of wax, you think of sticky, but it's it's not sticky. It's um, it's like more like candle wax pretty much um now with hard wax you can go over the same area multiple times and it's not going to harm your client that's because it's not uh, sticking directly to the skin it's adhering to the hair so because of that it's not harming your skin um so that's a huge reason why i really like hard wax because it's safer to use because it's not attaching itself directly to the skin um so there's a lot less of a chance of harming your client the main way you can harm it uh, is if you're not holding the skin taut or if the wax is too hot then you can burn them which you can burn them as well with soft wax so again you want to make sure your temperatures are good basically um, let me show you real quick what the waxes look like when they're melted and then I'll actually do a demo so um, soft wax this is the first one you're gonna get whenever you purchase it you'll purchase it and it will come in a tin like this. Like I said, it's just, it's liquid, so you really can't hold it anywhere else. Um, but you'll see it's a lot thinner. It's a lot more liquidy than hard wax. Now, hard wax, um, when melted, it'll look like this. So um, you want it, this to move kind of like honey or molasses. Uh, if it's too thin, if it's too runny, it's going to burn your client. And if it's uh, not, you know, moving at all, then it's not going to adhere to the hair at all. <laughs> so honey or molasses, you want to move slowly like that. That's perfect. Now hard wax can come in either uh, bead or tablet form. So this are beads, obviously. This is, uh, I'm using mermaid wax for hard wax in this one. This is the Signature Series Serena. So 
I prefer beads over tablets, really just because it's easier for them to melt quicker. Uh, the surface area is higher, which means um, you can put them in the pot and then they melt almost immediately. So I like beads over tablets, but like I said, it's really up to you. Okay, let me do a demo for you real quick so you can see exactly how they're laid and how they're removed. So I'll do soft wax first. So, like I said, you want to use a very small amount. You do not need a lot. If you use a lot, it's going to suck whenever you remove it. So you remove it in the direction of the hair growth. So my hair is growing upward. So I will very firmly push up just like that. Eh, goodness. Okay, soft wax. Now I'll do hard wax. Same thing in the direction of the hair growth. Use pressure and apply up. So now signature series, this wax I'm using, it can actually be applied thinner than a lot of hard waxes. Um, but you can still tell how the hard wax is thicker than soft wax. I mean, the color of the soft wax is like my skin colors, but you can tell that it's shiny. See how much thinner that is compared to hard wax? So in order to remove this one, I will take my strip like this. So I will, up since I applied up, because the direction of the hair growth is up, I will actually be removing it downward. So you want to put that strip on just like that and rip it off. Man, I feel alive now. Okay, do it again. Oh no, my goodness. All right, now you wanna make sure, let me get another one here. Um, you wanna make sure that all these little wax bits are off. Now, like I said, for me, I have sensitive skin, so you'll even notice here that this arm's about to get super duper red. But, um, you know, that's just all right. Okay, there we go. All right, that was soft wax. Hard wax, same thing, remove this, just like that. Perfect. Um, now, one, you can notice how much faster that was. You can also hear the sounds of um, how the wax is removing. So if you rewind, go back and listen to it again, you can really hear the rip sound when I'm pulling the soft wax off compared to the almost silent sound of me pulling the hard wax off. Um, again, something that I pay attention to, I can definitely feel a difference when I remove it. This side hurts a whole lot more than this one does. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, one reason why people will use soft wax over hard wax or companies will use soft wax over hard wax is because of cost. Um, soft wax does cost less. Um, not only does it cost less, but you also use less of it per service. Um, so because of that, people will use soft wax a lot of the time over hard wax. I myself would rather spend more money on a higher quality product and make sure that my clients are getting the best experience possible, even though it does cost me more. To me, it's worth it um, because I only wanna give them the best. So that's really the biggest thing I hear is, well, hard wax costs so much. Yes, but anytime I've had a client that used soft wax previously and now come to me and I use hard wax, they notice a difference and then they're hooked. They come back um, because it's so much less painful. Another thing to keep in mind, um, you can feel Okay, so again, soft wax on this side, hard wax on this side. You can feel how soft wax uh, leaves a sticky residue on your skin compared to hard wax. No stickiness at all. I can't even rub my hand up and down because it's because <laughs> it's sticky. Um, if you are using soft wax. You need to get that off before you um, just send your client out the door. So a lot of people will use like a post wax oil. That way it can break down the rest of the sticky residue because if you're doing like an underarm or a bikini area and you close your arms or you close your legs and they're stuck together, it's gonna be not fun for them to uh, peel themselves back apart. 
I've done it before, so I know from experience. Um, hopefully that answered your questions. Like I said, any additional questions, feel free to reach out to me. I will also put a link for um, a blog down in the description as well. If you want even more detail, go check that out. Um, but thank you for watching. This is Kristen with HK Wax Center. I will see you next time.